Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome, everyone, to this edition of the Bonnet Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz, and I am your host. Well, wait a minute. Move yeah, move out of the way. Not you. 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 I'm your host. Yeah, and everybody else is just not that one guy right there. Yeah, you just keep moving over. Spring weather's got him a little loony. So, I'm here with Eric Gilliland <laughs> in Louisville, Kentucky at the Ottoman Country Club. And let's get right into this week's email, and it comes in from Brett. And he says, hey, Chaz, I would like to know what the role of my right elbow is during the golf swing and how the position of my elbow affects the plane of my swing and accuracy of my shot. Could you give me some tips on what to do with this elbow on the backswing and the downswing? Thanks, you guys. You have the best podcast out there. Well, of course we do, because you send such great questions. So, Eric, how are we going to answer this week's question? He's not kidding. Another awesome question, Brett. Um, It's important that we get into... uh, where the left arm and the right elbow are in the golf swing because they're critical elements. And so we're gonna get up here and and talk a little bit about that, but make sure that we don't over-focus on that. We wanna focus on our target as our primary objective. So we'll get out here and take a look at it. Well, Brett, of course, you know, just for your participation, you get the official Bionic Glove. And if you would like to participate as well, it's real easy. Send us an email, podcast at bionicgloves.com. Make sure you have your name, full mailing address, whether you're right or left-handed, and what size glove you are. And of course, the question, and if we use your question, you will win one as well. It's really that easy. Please, please, please leave your feedback in iTunes as well as in YouTube because we go in and read all that stuff. It's very important to us that we see what your comments are because it gives us ideas on what we can deliver to you. So please do that and tell all your golf buddies as well. Now let's work with Eric on the course to see how we can resolve this with issue with elbow roll in the golf swing. In this edition of the Hands-On Golf Podcast. And that guy I was talking to earlier, yeah, you, you can come with us as is that okay? I guess so. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Brett. In talking about the straightness of the left arm and where the right elbow should be, again, it's important to understand that you want to know where they belong, but you don't want to obsess on their position. Because most of the students that I work with, if they're focused on too many things in swing, they forget that they're trying to hit this golf ball where they want it to go. So we'll talk about where they belong in your practice sessions. You can focus on those, but try to let that go when you go out and play. Um, At address, we want the left arm and right arm relaxed. I'm here with a driver in normal ball position. My right arm is relaxed. My left arm is extended and relaxed. As I start the club back, I'm gonna take my left arm as far back as I can comfortably take it without letting it break down. And what I mean by break down is that if I continue to swing the club back, you can see my left arm will no longer support the top of my back swing. So I'm gonna take this club back as far as I comfortably can to hold it in that position. Now, my right elbow, is generally down but I see a lot of players working really hard as you described at trying to get that right elbow completely straight up and down that is not critical in the golf swing what is critical is that you don't bow it out so much that the club crosses the line crosses your target line we want to keep this club at the top generally parallel to where you're trying to hit the golf ball so a good position for me at the top is going to be right about there if your elbow looks like this at the top no problem If it's straight up and down, that's great too, but keep it relaxed and pointed generally down. Now, as I start the club down, when I get to the ball, I want my right arm extended. I want my left arm extended so that I can accelerate through impact to where they're reaching out to a point parallel to my target line. Then ultimately to a full finish position. Once I've reached this position, just let the club fold up wherever it it goes naturally. Don't think too hard about, I need the club high, I need the club low. Do whatever's comfortable. So I'm going to hit a ball here, and you can look at all those positions as as I just described them. That's as good as I can do. Hopefully your shot will look something like that. Thanks for the question, Brett, and if you have any more questions about 
the elbow position, the left arm position, consult one of our bionic podcasts or consult your local pga professional.